Amal Khan is the least populous of the seven sovereign emirates in the United Arab Emirates, located in the north of the country. The emirate is ruled by Saud bin Rashid al Mullah. The emirate had 62,000 inhabitants in 2003 and has an area of 750 kilometers too. History Amal Khan holds significant archaeological interest, with major finds at both Telebrac and Al Dor. Arrowheads and other polished flint tools have been unearthed in various sites across the UAE while pieces of Yobaid pottery have been unearthed along the shores of the emirate. All evidence obtained so far indicate that contact with Mesopotamia existed as early as the 5th millennium BC as an indigenous ceramic industry did not emerge until the 3rd century BC. During the Bronze Age, semi-nomadic tribes inhabited the region. They shifted in groups from place to place foraging for timber from the indigenous acacia for smelting copper. The metal was sent to all the prominent ports on the Persian Gulf, Umm al -Nar being one of them. Ties with Mesopotamia were jealously maintained and consequently the trading copper ushered in prosperity in the region. During the Bronze Age, agriculture flourished, with dates being the prominent crop. Wheat, millet and other grains were also cultivated wherever there was enough water for irrigation. It is now widely believed that the climate during the period was more temperate than now. During the Umm al -Nar period, buildings and fortress towers came up in Umm al -Khan. The most common buildings associated with this era are the circular burial tombs. The modern history of Umm al Khan began some 200 years ago when the Al Ali tribe moved their capital from Al Sinai Island to its present location in the mid 18th century due to declining water resources. In 1775, Sheikh Majid al Mullah, founder of the ruling Al Muri Euro unregistered trademark Al lineage of the Al Ali tribe, established an independent sheikhdom in Umm al Khan. On January 8, 1820, Sheikh Abdullah I signed the General Maritime Treaty with the United Kingdom, thus accepting a British protectorate in order to keep the Ottoman Turks out. Like Ajman, Dubai, Ras al Khaima, and Sajjal, its position on the route to India made it important enough to be recognized as a salute state with a three gun salute. By 1903, Lorimer's famous survey of the Trucial coast had Amal Khan as a town of some 5,000 inhabitants and identified it as the major boat building center of the coast, producing some 20 boats a year compared to 10 in Dubai and 5 in Sajjal. On December 2, 1971, Sheikh Ahmad II joined its neighbors Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sajjal, Ajman, and Fuera in forming the United Arab Emirates, with Ras al Khaimah joining later in early 1972. The successive rulers were, 1775 a Euro 17, Sheikh Majid al Mullah, 17, a Euro 1816 Sheikh Rashid ibn Majid Mullah, 1816 a Euro 1853 Sheikh Abdullah ibn Rashid al Mullah, 1853 a Euro 1873 Sheikh Ali bin Abdullah al Mullah, 1873 a Euro June 13, 1904 Sheikh Ahmad ibn Abd Allah al Mullah, June 13, 1904 Euro August 1922 Sheikh Rashid II bin Ahmad al Mullah, August 1922 Euro October 1923 Sheikh Abdullah II bin Rashid al Mullah, October 1923 Euro February 9, 1929 Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim al Mullah, February 9, 1929 Euro February 21, 1981 Sheikh Ahmad bin Rashid al Mullah February 21, 1981 Euro January 2, 2009 Sheikh Rashid bin Ahmad al Mullah, January 2, 2009 Sheikh Saud bin Rashid al Mullah. Climate During November to March, the average temperature is 26 a degree Celsius by day and 15 a degree Celsius at night, but it can rise to over 40 a degree Celsius in the peak of the summer and when humidity levels are high. The rainfall is minimal and averages 42 mm a year. The coastline experiences cooling sea breezes during the day. Environment Al Sinai Island, close to the town of Umm al Khalin, is home to the UAE's largest Sakatra cormorant colony, with over 15,000 pairs making it the third largest colony in the world. Arabian gazelle have been introduced to Sinai and appear to be prospering. Marine life is remarkable for its abundance and diversity. Black tip reef sharks patrol the outer shoreline, while green turtles are ubiquitous in the inner leads in particular. 
between Al Sinaiya and the mainland is Khor Al Bida, an expansive area of sand and mud flats of international importance for its waterfowl. Although not formally protected, the island of Sinaiya, along with Khor Al Bida, is one of the largest areas of undisturbed and varied coastal environment remaining anywhere in the UAE. Tourism, Um Al Khan Fort, a fort which was once home to the Emirati Euro unregistered trademark S ruler and guarded the entrance to the old town, overseeing the sea on one side and the creek on the other. It eventually became a police station then a museum. The museum now houses artifacts found at important nearby sites including Aldua and houses a collection of weapons that were used through the Emirates' history. It is located near a masjid in Umm al Khan Bazaar. Old Harbour an old harbour located in the old town overlooking the traditional Dao building yard where skilled craftsmen continue to assemble these traditional boats. The harbour is surrounded by old coral stone houses that display features of the original architecture and intricate sculptured plaster work. Islands of Umm al Khan, islands that lie to the east of the mainland peninsula on a unique stretch of coastline consisting of sandy islands surrounded by dense mangrove forests, separated by a series of creeks. The largest of the seven islands is Al Sinaiya, followed by Jazirat Al Hala and Al Kabay, all of which are visible from the old town. Tucked in between these and the coastal plains are the smaller islands of Al So, Al Karam, Al Hamadi, Al Cheria, and Al Hamala. The Madar Creek that runs between the islands provides a navigable waterway for fishermen even at low tide when the average depth is less than a few feet. Al Dur, located roughly where the town of Umm al Khan is now, it is considered the largest pre Islamic site on the Persian Gulf coast. Al Dur was an important trading port from about 200 BC to 200 AD. Thousands of graves are found among the houses of Al Dur. In some cases, the larger tombs contain the remains of more than one individual, perhaps a family. There are two public monuments at Al Dur a small square fort with round corner towers and a small square temple dedicated to the Semitic sun god Shamash. Dreamland Aqua Park, the largest water park in the UAE is located on the coastline of Umm al Khan. About 40 minutes drive from Dubai, with 250,000 m2 expanse of landscaped gardens and over 30 rides, slides, and attractions. The park is operated all year round with a daily capacity of 10,000 visitors. See also, Al Qasimi, List of Sunni Muslim Dynasties. References External links <laughs>